this time on the Moby Duck. Arch Charger, Charger, back off! Like 80 I guess we're not getting paid. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm here with my cousin Jesse. He's just heading over there. And uh, Jeremy, as always. Rambo. Where's Rambo? Rambo's way up there. Oh, he took off. We're gonna, um, we're in Squim right now. We've got the Moby Duck. And uh, we're gonna go head out and try to see if we can get some sea cucumbers. We haven't done it in probably over 10 years. So we got our big old thing to put our cukes in. Uh, we got an underwater camera. Last time we didn't use one of those. I guess it's pretty uh, pretty mandatory to use one of them bad boys. I'll just say that cucumbers, dime for cucumbers is probably probably a little more dangerous than gooey duck, huh, Jay? I think so, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be crazy. We're gonna have to dive anywhere from 50 to 80 feet in the rocky areas. Um, we haven't really done any diving like that, so it's gonna be interesting. We're just uh, getting everything loaded up, waiting on these guys, and uh, we're gonna head out and see if we can get some of these bad boys. All right, I'm dying. All right, let's head out. We're gonna go to a little place called Discovery Bay, try that out. If that doesn't really pan out, then we're gonna go to a little place called Dallas Banks. It's usually the go-to out here by Protection Island. So yeah, we got some marks, and uh, we're just gonna go, uh, go to these marks and drop the camera down and see if there's anything down there. Here's our uh, buddy's new boat, Kenny. He uh, just picked up this boat a couple months ago. That's what everyone out here strives to get right there. That's the dream boat. That's the dream boat right there. Isn't that right, Ram? We're gonna set a couple crab pots uh, just in uh, just in case, worst case scenario, we don't get any cucumbers. We got some good eatings or or sign. Isn't that right, Jay? Maybe pay for a little bit of fuel because I'm fucking fuel prices. Yep. She goes. Good old dungeon that's crab eatings right there. Yep. Park charger, charger. Back off. Bird. Just showed up here at our marks in Disco Bay. Jeremy's getting the camera ready. We're gonna drop that bad boy down and see if we can't see nothing. Uh, it's super nice out here. I don't think we're gonna have to be dealing with any wind or currents too much. So we might be able to live boat through here. Doesn't look too bad. See how the ground looks. Make sure there's not a bunch of rocks that we can get hung up on. We got these uh, little noodles. We gotta put that on our hose to help it float. This helps it from getting hung up on stuff down there. All right, we're getting ready to drop the camera down. All right, it's recording. Drop her down. Down on the hatch. You're on the cord. <laughs> <laughs> we just uh, set the camera down there. We weren't seeing too much. It's kind of hard to see anything. Tell if it's rocks or sea cucumbers, but we're gonna head down there. I'm just gonna jump in real quick, live boat. I mean, there's literally no current, so it's not too bad. We're, uh, we're too impatient for cameras. Yeah, too impatient. I just wanna hop in and we can cover more ground that way. So I'm gonna get ready. Just anchored out. Right now we're cutting these little things into one foot pieces. We're gonna tape them on our hose about every 10 feet or so to help it flow. Just gonna hop down there. If it looks good, then they're just gonna pull the anchor and we'll live boat.
So the first spot was a complete dud. Jason was down there for about 10 minutes, didn't find nothing. Yeah, it was a, for some reason the camera showed up, it was pebbly. I went down there, it was just pure sand, you guys seen it. So uh, yeah, I tried picking up the anchor and moving a little bit, but things too heavy, hard to move. So uh, yeah, we're gonna drop this little camera back down and uh, go we find some pebbles and I think that's where they're at, right, Jeremy? Yep, I think that's about right. But I think he said uh, to bring the uh, old bag and bag line down so we can switch her out. Looks like it's doing good. It's gonna be our first bag. It's pretty exciting stuff. I think there's a Coast Guard boat coming over here, so hopefully they board us and uh, we all go to jail. First cukes of the season right there. 
All right, guys, so we just got our first bag all cut up. Got off from my dive. I uh, spent about an hour 20 down there. Did pretty good. Pretty good. Found a few. Not too bad. So that should be full. And uh, yeah, Jeremy's about to go down. Let's see if I can't pull up two on this one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. okay so, uh, yeah, so I think we found a decent spot. We're going to move up this way a little bit. Yeah, it seemed like they were all hiding on those uh, big old rocks you guys can see down there. So yeah, we're going to move ahead a little bit and let Jeremy go down. Get a cuker too. Drop check. like 80 knots whatever I think we cleaned them all out over here but we ended up with like what two and a quarter maybe 200 pounds two and a quarter no uh, cans cans yep about right there it's starting to get real nasty out here so we're gonna head in and uh, see how many pounds we got because we're in the eye of the storm now boys we're really in her camera don't do it justice but I don't think we're making it back Phones out out here. Just showed up back at the marina. It was a good uh it was a good ride in. It's pretty nasty out there. Uh but this is what we ended up with. These are 32 gallon buckets. But uh yeah, I think our buyer's up in that truck up there. He's gonna come down There's a tornado and... going on up there. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's nasty out here. The old Moby Duck handled it good though. He handled good. 
weigh these bad boys out and see what we got. Comment below what you guys think we got. How many pounds? Yeah, this is at least. Let's see what pounds. we got. Yeah. Oh, yeah, more than we thought. 220. Oh. Not too bad, 220. Each one's about 220, so that's pretty good. Way more than we thought, huh? I think we were thinking like 130 or 120 or something. 160 or 160. That's not bad. Three, two, <laughs> oh, yeah, nice and pukey. Yeah. Oh, we left one in there. Six pounder right there. Right. 156? Yeah, 56. 56. 56. Upside down. Oh, 56. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, 195. Yeah. Yeah, what you said. I like this guy. <laughs> we have lifted it up by ourselves. Menorah. 500 pounds. Holy cow. It's not bad. It's like 150 pounds. 150 pounds more than everyone was guessing. So that's good. You ready? You gotta take minus the cans. Yep. Yep. See, dude. Wait, what? No way. <laughs> Serious? That's fucking weird. I guess we're not getting paid. <laughs> He's still here. Yeah. It's not him, it's the girl that it's the girl. Huh. All right, well, shit. We got like 477 pounds and... Hmm. For nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just get this way to hear back from her and she tries to fucking be like, yeah, we'll only give you three bucks and we're like, we're fucking working with you anymore. Give yeah. us our keeps back. <laughs> yeah, give us our fucking keeps. That doesn't make no sense. Uh, I told the guys, like, like yeah, I've never gone, come in and got pounds and shit and never gotten paid. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't usually work like that. But yeah, that's bad. It's the next day here. Uh, we couldn't get orders today for some cukes. Markets are just getting really bad. So uh, yeah, today we're just gonna go out and pick those pots that we dropped yesterday, see if we got any crab. That's about all we got today. It kinda sucks. We There's a three day opener for the cukes and then we we're all getting ready for her and then just one day and that's it. We're gonna scout though for some cukes, aren't we, Jay? Yeah. Might drop the camera down a couple more places that we wanted to try, see if there's anything down there. There's another uh, next gen Fabs boat right there though. The old Red Hawk. Sweet seeing the old next gen Fabs boats all over the place now. It's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we're just waiting for my cousin Jesse to show up and we're gonna go check these pots. See what we got. Oh yeah, and we still didn't get paid for them cukes yesterday. I don't know what the hell's going on. I think we got ripped off. <laughs> I think we got ripped off bad. There he is. You guys wanna help me out? Let me in. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 
got six keepers in there. Third and final pot, so far we got two keepers. Eyes on the pot, it's loaded. Hold up. Oh yeah, she's loaded. We got some crab in this one. All right, maybe there's crab here at the mouth. The twins managed to get 477 pounds. At $4 a pound, that's $1,908. After fuel and deckhand brings it to thirteen hundred and eight dollars, bringing each twin five hundred and twenty-three dollars. That's gonna wrap up the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you give it a like, comment below. We were hoping to do three days of cukes, but I only ended up doing one. Also, we got a little special guest over here. You guys been asking to see her. This little Harley Rose right there. All right, yep, we're gonna end it there. Uh, try to get some more fishing videos for you guys. Alrighty, see you next time.